Location profile is when you're defining a coordinate system to be used by either the GNSS receiver or by a collector base map when they're in something other than WGS84. So this will perform the on-the-fly transformation to make sure that your data doesn't have a shift in it. The only times that you actually need to use a location profile is when either your real-time source is not in WGS84 or your custom base map is not in WGS84. So if you're just using like SBAS with Esri's cust or regular base maps that are in WGS84 Web Mercator, you don't need to set a location profile and you can just use the default. But if you're using a real time in like NAT83, uh, which we'll be using today, then we're going to go ahead and have to set up this location profile and apply it to the data. If we take a look at collector here, uh, the location profile will be through the menu. So in iOS, uh, what I'm using now, it'll be through the profile button in the upper left hand corner. In uh, Android, it'll be through the bit button, three dot menu button. So we'll go ahead and tap their profile icon. And then we'll go under location. And we'll see the profile there is set to default. So we're going to go ahead and create a new one. So we're going to tap add. And then we're going to search for our coordinate system that we're wanting to use. So we're using a single base that's a NAD 83 2011. So we're just going to type in NAD 1983. And we'll see that the 2011 one pops up there. So we're going to go ahead and tap it to use it. And now we're going to select the coordinates of our map. So we're just using Esri's base maps, which are in uh, WGS84 Web Mercator. So we'll select Web Mercator, and then it's going to ask us to zoom to the extent that we're going to be using the map in. Um, so I'm just going to zoom in here to my area. And then I'm going to go ahead and hit next. So then it's going to give me two transformations to use. And the transformations will come up depending on your area. Um, so for like example, if we go into like Hawaii, they're going to have the PA11 ones. Uh, but we just have two in our area, either the ITRF00 or the ITRF08. So I'm going to go ahead and select the ITRF08 as my transformation type and hit done. Then it's going to ask you to name the profile. So I recommend just putting kind of a description of what it's using. So I'm going to say NAD83. So I'm just going to give it that description, then hit save, and I'll see that it shows up now under other. So if I want to use that profile, I just have to tap on it um, so that it is selected. If I want to see uh, what profile it's actually using, I can click the Identify button and it'll show my GNSS coordinates with my map and what transformation it's using. So at this point I can hit Done and now it's ready to use. Now that I've given you a description of what a location profile is, I'll show you the steps to configure one. Uh, right now I'm in an iOS device uh, in Collector, so I'll go to the Profile Setting button up in the upper left-hand corner, um, and then we're going to scroll down to the Location section and click on Profile. So right now it just has a default one, so we're going to go ahead and add a profile. So we'll click the Add button. So the first option to select there is the GNSS coordinate system. So this will be WGS84 unless you're using a real-time source that is in a different coordinate system. Our real-time source is coming in as NAD83 2011, so that's what we're going to select here. So I'm just going to go ahead and search for NAD um, 1983 2011, and I'll see it pop up there, and I'll go ahead and select it. So the next step is to select what coordinate system your base map is in. So if you're using Esri's, they'll be in the WGS84 Web Mercator Auxiliary Sphere. If you're using a tile package that's in a different coordinate system, then you'll select that. We're just using Esri's base map, so we'll go ahead and search for the Web Mercator, and then we'll click the one for the Auxiliary Sphere. And then the next step is to zoom into the area that you'll be working in. So I'm going to zoom in here um, to Denver to my area, and then I'm going to go ahead and hit Next. 
Uh, so the last step here is to select what datum transformation to use. So what transformations come up depends on where you're zooming in. For example, if you're in Hawaii, if you zoom in, you'll have the PA11 ones, which we don't have here in the continental US. So I'm just going to select the ITRF08, which is the most current transformation between WGS84 and NAT83. And then I'm going to go ahead and hit done. And then it's going to ask for a profile name. So once I've named it, I can hit save, and it's going to now show that new profile underneath the, lo the other on the location profile settings. So if I want to enable it to be used, I'll just tap on it, and it'll put the check mark in front of it. If I want to see more information about the location profile, if I've set it up in the past and can't remember what it's using, I can click the I button at the end, and then it's going to give me the details about that datum transformation, and I can see what it's using.